Hi, this is Strong from Zopac Medical. This video will demonstrate how to use Zopac Transport 60 battery for nasal high flow transport in everyday applications as well as for air ambulance. The Zopac Transport 60 battery, it's called Transport 60 because it can transport 60 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius and 60 liters per minute. Uh, for AirVo2 as well as some other um, nasal high flow devices. It's very small and powerful. It's uh, eight and inches long. It's only uh, six and quarter inches wide and it's two inches tall. And the weight is only three pounds. So it's very light and it fits in the basket uh, very easily. It uh, is FAA compliant. So in the back, you can see that there is an air flight symbol. It has the maximum um, uh, available capacity that's still FAA compliant. And um, you can um, get a statement from Zopac Medical, if you like, for air transport. It's um, a transport battery. It's not in UPS which means that you don't plug in 24 by seven with this battery with the nasal high flow machine. You would uh, leave this at a charging station, have it fully charged 100%. So it's ready for transport. And when you need it, you will grab it and um, bring it to the air vault for transport. Now, um, if you unplug the air vault two, to plug in the battery, the AirVo will reset. If um, you are in a situation where you want to have an uninterruptible power supply or UPS, so when you unplug the AirVo 2, it will not reset, then we do have the Transport UPS series. Just ask us um, uh, or your sales rep and uh, we can help you with that. The transport uh, series, uh, we have 60, as well as we have uh, longer transport times, if interested, but this is the only one that's FAA compliant for air transport. So how do we use the battery? So um, to turn the battery on, you just uh, press and hold the power button, and uh, you see that FF shows up, that means full. I have charged it to 100%, so it's full right now. In the front of the battery, you have two AC uh, outlets with uh, universal plugging and two USB uh, ports. The USB ports uh, are designed for aerogen nebulizer because we can transport for so long, so it's good to um, have this available in case patients need a nebulizer. And uh, to turn on the AC outlets, you do have to slide the AC outlet switch. And when the red LED is on, that means uh, there is power to the AC outlet. You do not need to plug in the battery to the wall to start the AirVo 2. So um, uh, to demonstrate that, I have the AirVo 2 currently at uh, room temperature. So it's going to draw the most power um, in order to heat the water. And let's see uh, the battery can handle uh, the maximum draw and start uh, the air vault too. So let's plug it in. Okay, you just plug it in just like that. And then, uh, and then start the battery. And then red LED light is on. So let's uh, start the air vault too machine. So you can see that it turns on uh, right away. And uh, you can see that um, it's uh, drawing a lot of power and it's already starting to deplete the, the battery. The setting, it's uh, 37 degrees Celsius and uh, 60 liters per minute. So it's at the maximum setting right now. And you can see that the battery started arable too uh, with no problem at all. Okay. Okay. Now this battery um, for 
FAA uh, compliance, you can bring two transport 60 battery per person, which means that you have the patient, uh, then you can bring on two, and uh, you have a pilot, that's two more, and etc. So we have air ambulance um, who needs two hours, for example, they will link up uh, two batteries in order to get two hours. So um, you can uh, link as many as you want. It's called our unlimited linking technology. So um, how do you link the batteries? Is uh, using the power supply that comes with uh, the battery. So what you do is uh, you would uh, just like charging. Here's the DC charging port. The first battery with the second battery. Okay, and you just plug it in. Okay, let's uh, turn on the battery. And let's uh, turn on the AC outlet. Now you're gonna see that the first battery is flashing and the second battery is uh, draining because this battery is uh, charging this battery while this battery is uh, running the air bolt too. So um, if you start with both 100%, you will see both uh, starts to drain and um, that's how you link the battery. And if you need more hours, you just can link more uh, batteries. Now, notice that this uh, battery has a silicone battery case, which is optional. Uh, the silicone battery case is IP22 certified, which means it can have water ingress protection, dust protection, and uh, also in addition, it has drop protection. We put very thick silicone on the side. And also, uh, it's a lot easier to um, clean and disinfect. So that's um, Zopac uh, Transport 60 battery. And if you have any questions, please contact us at zopac.com. That's uh, Z-O-P-E-C.com. And we'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much.